He did it. He did. Notice that. It was raining on me leaving up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the sunny Southern California, Newport Beach. We call it a truly life changing event here in Newport Beach, California. In our room here, um, we, all we are our founders here. So I would like to start this program tonight. I'd like to welcome all of our friends, founders, that travel, couples travel two hours, three hours, stuck in traffic. Uh, illness, travel all the way from LA, and then we have your ocean side. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask everyone, um, I know that we have uh, a presentation done tonight, and we do have guests that are attending on Zoom right now. Uh, we'll be listening to the presentation. However, we are all founders here. It would be great if we all could start. Um, I like to first to start this event by saying that I really appreciate Terry Thompson and Michael Thompson, uh, husband and wife, are getting this event ready, getting this location ready for us. Do appreciate you tremendously for the work that you do. I also like to thank Sherry, Sherry Dursaway. Thank you so much for being here. Um, the camera kind of go this way, so they won't be able to see you, but um, Thank you so much for continuously meeting with me at a coffee shop, probably about three months ago, we started all this. And then also, um, I would also like to thank everyone that on the Zoom here tonight with us. Uh, you are here to support uh, the event here. Also, you are here because you love on passive and we are all here because we have a true true goal and vision for us to be here. So thank you so much everyone for being here. Today is also Ray Ramsey birthday. So we would just wanted to say happy birthday to Ray. Um, and uh, we do hope you enjoy your day. <laughs> and then everyone, if you could uh, say happy birthday to Ray um, later on. Um, I know we are all founders here and I would like everyone if you could, I'm, I'm hoping that this computer or this connection will not uh, mess up if I could uh, have everyone say hello, uh, your name and where you come from. And if you like to be in front of the camera here, I would love for you to come on here as well, just so that everyone on the Zoom here would like to meet you knowing that you are in California, knowing that we are going to do, do this together and we are going to do a California event and it's gonna happen every month. And we do ask for uh, your um, basically um, participants. Um, I also wanted to also thank everyone who contributed into this event, monetary or snacks that you brought. I, really, I do uh, truly appreciate it. So my name is Julie, I, I'm here in Orange County and um, I love being on passive. On passive is a gift for me. So if you could come, if you like to come, please come on. Hello, my name is Knut Reimann. I'm here with my spouse, Monica, and uh, my little four-year-old, Eva Meige. You see him in the back here. Uh, I'm a founder since August, 2018. So I saw the vision very early and I'm glad that I stuck to it. Thank you. Ray Ramsey, first day boy. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Ray Ramsey and I'm here from Oceanside, California, North County, San Diego. Doug, Doug Morrow. Hi everybody, my name is Doug Moore. I'm from Laguna Beach, California. I uh, met Julie about maybe three months ago, um, live, finally hooked up. Uh, she lives about 20 minutes from me. And um, my buddy's with Marina. Sure, you like to come say hello to everyone? I can. Hello everybody, you all know who I am. Sherry from sunny Southern California in the game with, with amazing opportunity. This is going to be, Julie is phenomenal. And many of these people here that you're going to meet are phenomenal. And you all on the 
um, they are, are phenomenal. I love you all the pieces and I'll let it somebody else. Can't wait till you see the presentation. Julian did an amazing job. God bless, love you all the pieces. I can't tell who is who, so the tin boys, please. <laughs> the tin boys. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, please come on. Uh, you say hi. I'm no, I'm <laughs> I'll let you speak first. Hello there. My name is uh, Ronnie Presley. My name is Randy. Hello, everybody. I'm from uh, Huntington Beach, and I've been in this since 2018. And my sister is Terry Thompson. We're her brothers. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Michael and uh, Terry. Hi, everybody. We're so excited to be here. Um, and we wouldn't be here if it were not for meeting up with Julie. She's a blessing. Sherry as well. Um, we've just gotten to be really close friends in a short amount of time. And um, my husband, Michael, and I are very blessed to be here. We're super excited. Uh, we've been in since October 2018. Michael. Hi, everyone. Michael Thompson here with my wife, Cherry Thompson. Uh, the one thing that I really love uh, just about what on passive is about besides all the nuts and bolts, just all the people that I've uh, seen and I've met in this entire group, they just, everybody just seems to have the love and the best hearts in the world and, and caring for one another. It's just one big family. And I'm happy to be a part of that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We love you. And then their mom also, uh, lovely lady. Yeah. Mom, mom's um, 83. She's been in from the beginning and sorry, but she's bowling tonight. <laughs> but she would be here if she could. <laughs> she's having fun. Elizabeth, please come on down. Hi, everyone. Very excited to be here. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I drove down here over two hours to be here at this special event. I love Julie. I joined on Passive um, in October 2020, just less than a year ago, and it has changed my life. Uh, I work a lot with the uh, Hebrew speaking community. So my um, uh, organization is scattered throughout the US and Israel as well. And I just love, love the uh, passion, love the culture. And um, well, on Passive just, um, took me so um, just took me in as a storm. Um, I go to sleep with on passive. I wake up with on passive. My husband knows it's the three of us, him, I, and on passive every night. So thank you everyone. Looking forward to this lovely event today. Thank you. Up next we have Bruce Bryant. Bruce. Hi everybody. This is Bruce Bryant. We are in sunny California. I just want to say hi to everybody out there. And I want to thank Julie, who's a friend of mine for about 10 years out here in sunny California. She brought me into on Passive. Um, I'm going to go back about a year and a half ago. I've been following the journey. I've been watching everyone, what they're doing. And I just want to throw a, an important point that I picked up on. They are doing such a fantastic job here over at on Passive. And when you look at Mr. Ask Mufara, you look at Julie Milo, you look at Marty DeGarmo, the whole team, if these folks can glue together a million people almost, pre going to, as I call it, IPO, <laughs> you know, public, I definitely wanna follow them. And I think that you should too. I wanna say a big shout out to Milo. He's been very important to me because I fumbled like probably a lot of you in putting, <laughs> putting people on my team I wanna thank the hundreds and hundreds of people that are under me. I wanna thank Julie specifically for her coaching and everything she's done to make me grow my team. I knew nothing about what I was doing. <laughs> I don't mind admitting that. And without Milo and Julie behind me, as, as you know, my coaches and my support, I would have never, never had the momentum and, and the, the training that, that I needed to get this off the ground. And I wanna just say thank you to both of them more importantly, because they're right here, they're close to me, and 
they do everything that we need for support. And that's about it. So stick with it. Looking for the um, big launch. <laughs> and uh, God bless everybody. Everybody have a night, night, nice night. Thank you, Bruce. Be on holiday and your son, Joshua, holiday. Come on yeah. in. The youngest founder. Yes. Hi, you know everybody. My name is Leon Holiday, and this is my son Joshua Holiday. We're both founders, and um, I'm. I don't believe I know the number, but I think I became a founder somewhere around the three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. So whatever that is. Uh, so I've known Julie for a long time, and um, we're looking uh, forward for the big uh, launch and and. And like I said, this is a really good uh, a pleasure for us being here tonight and uh, enjoying. And my son, Joshua, he said, are we going to the Julian Milo show? And so <laughs> he, he sat at the house and watched the Julian Milo show with me. So he oh, knew he knew how who uh, Julian Milo was. So thanks, everybody. Uh, that was all. Why can't said I do it? Yeah, you can oh, do you it. Oh, you can do it, Joshua. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joshua. Just, go ahead. Just say hello, hello, everyone, if you like. Okay. Hi, everyone. Tell me your name. My name is Joshua. Okay. Yeah, we can see. Say, you. Say, I'm just no, and then I'm. Can I say I'm an inventor? Yeah, you're a founder too. And I'm a founder too. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Uh, we also have Sherry Green just stepped into the room. Sherry, please come on down. She's taking a sip of water. It must be a long drive for you. Yeah. Come on down, Sherry. Thank you. Uh, just introduce yourself and say hi to everybody. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Julie. <laughs> so uh, my name's um, Sherry Green, and um, I'm just actually visiting from Canada. I'm, I'm uh, staying down in Santa Barbara. So I just drove up from Santa Barbara. I wasn't sure if I could make it happen. And then at about two o'clock, I'm like, I'm just doing it. So yeah, so I just got here, like literally just walked in the door. So welcome to any guests that are out there. Um, I'm not sure the kind of format that we're working with right now, but if there's guests here, welcome. And uh, you're in for the ride of your life. You know, if uh, somebody invited you here, they really, care about you and love you. So let's do it. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, Thank right, you for thanks. driving here. Yeah. I know it's a last minute and you made yeah, decision yeah. as a lot of people making decision to be here. Um, participants, uh, taking action is the best. Um, everyone um, up next, um, we're all founders here. So um, I was just very, uh, such an honor and privilege to meet a lot of the founders I, that, uh, that I haven't met before. Um, right now, I am going to do a presentation for on Passive. I prepared uh, and I took a lot of notes and then there's a lot of people behind it helping me. So I just wanted to appreciate you so much for helping me to put this together. Um, yeah. If you are founders, and I know you've heard this a lot of time, if you like to uh, turn off your camera, stretch, I know you just came back from a two hours webinar. This is for our guests. And if you like to stay, you're more than welcome, but I'd love for you to stay here. And basically, uh, if you like to, please turn off your mic, turn off your camera if you need to and I will be giving a presentation for our guest here. Um, welcome, if you are a guest for tonight webinar, I appreciate you being here. The person who invited you here really, really care for you. So I do hope that you spend maybe, I hope I can keep it in, tw in, in, in 30 minutes or 20 minutes, but if I can, uh, there's a lot of information. You're more than welcome to take a screenshot if you like to have a, this presentation. Um, you can always send, um, an email to the person that you invited you here and request for it. Uh, we have this here ready for you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my camera or no, <laughs> minimize this so that I actually can see what I'm doing. I appreciate you in be being here. Uh, if you are the guest, hopefully you have pen and paper to write things down. A lot of people, when they come to one of these meetings, they always wanted to know, is this company legal, ethical? Is this a real company? What about what are the products? What are, are they really viable? Well, who is the CEO? What about the leadership in this company? How does this company work? How does products and services work in this company? What about, what do I need to do? Does it cost? How much does it cost? Can I really make money in this company? 
well, let's tackle this. Is this company legal, ethical, and real? Yes, it is. On Passive has been registered since November 19, 2018 in Orlando, Florida, USA, and is legal certified in over 200 countries. On Passive is a private company in pre-launch. On Passive has brick and mortar assets in two locations with others opening, um, other locations are opening very soon. Our CEO has legal team that has worked closely with global governments to ensure ethical business practices in, are in place. These are our two um, offices. One is currently in Orlando, Florida, where Mr. Ash Mufard, our CEO, is currently working there. The other, um, office that we have is in Hyderabad um, in India. This is where over hundreds of, you know, over 6,700 of our tech team are working there. This is where um, a lot of our tech team who has thousands of years in combine uh, together are working to uh, provide the products and services and also creating the products for, our, for all of us. Like I said before, other offices are in process of opening in other parts of the world as well. Let me talk just a little bit about OnPassive. OnPassive is a company that is self-funded. The products are built from the ground up. It has artificial intelligent products. And as of now, over 934,000 customers and thousands are joining daily. It provides a total internet solution all done for you, plug and play platform. You only need to do one login and you can get access to all. It's 100% automated. And it is, the best part of it is insanely inexpensive fee. Our um, CEO, Mr. Ash Mofarad said, on passive will give you more value than any other company in the world or the universe will ever give you. Let's talk about the products and are they really viable products? Yes, OnPassive is a global IT artificial intelligent company that has suit that has a suit of integrated integrated digital products. The products are the tools that needed for all online business. As you know, online digital products are in high demand and used by many around the world. On passive products are higher in quality, simpler to use, and at lower price than the competitors, which aids more value to the customer. On passive products are high tech with high touch and completely reliable. On passive products are real, transparent, organic, and pay e commerce traffic. On passive products play a role in ursuring the paradigm shift that on passive can get, and you can get paid very well. These are the pillars of on passive and uh, my artwork has a little bit uh, crooked. <laughs> so uh, on these pillars, the first one are the tools of on passive. Secondly, um, automation. The third one is traffic. And the fourth one is giving us the opportunity to build residual income. These are the products of OnPassive looking to uh, introduce to the world in 2021. Products like Academy, Omail, Opost, Ocapture Virtual, Obless, all these products that are the products that we all need, whether or not you have a business or simply if you need to have some type of product for you to be able to navigate online. Who is in charge of OnPassive? Mr. Ash Mufar, he is a man with huge vision. He created on passive with intelligence and with love. Mr. Ash Mufar is the CEO of our company. He has huge vis vision for the future to ensure everyone achieves success. His vision is to create a company where everyone can be successful, a company that loaded with integrity and value, clean, and above board. He is a top affiliate marketer. He is a wizard with marketing technology and driving traffic, qualified customers to the products and services. 
He has a master degree in information technology and e-commerce from American Intercontinental University. He has attended Harvard University. He is an innovative visionary with 20 years of experience in business and particularly in technology. He has master in driving targeted traffic. His goal is to help the 97% of people who have never been successful in online business or in life. He is also a family man with a beautiful wife and two young children. So how does this work? On Passive is in a pre-launch and you have an opportunity to be a founding member when on passive launches, the founder will become the customers of the products and services. On passive will go to work for you and bring the customer under you. They will handle all the advertising, marketing, and customer service. You will earn a commission. On passive is fully automated, hand free, done for you, set it and forget it. This business you will earn. It's like a piece of pie, right? If you have a legal business and you can bring it into OnPassive platform, OnPassive would drive targeted traffic to your business and get you qualified customers. If you don't have a business, that's okay. OnPassive will be your hands-free business. There are absolutely no recruiting or selling required in OnPassive. The opportunity is where we all want to know. So right now we are currently offering a founder position. Be at the front of the global IT company, be in a billion dollars company, or be the top 100% of the company once it launches. You get exclusive access to products, tools, and services. You get to receive guaranteed targeted traffic to your business, have a generational residual income. On passive forces everyone to be successful. You also could become a member of Inner Circle in On Passive. You get to obtain abundance living and so, so much more. When you are in On Passive, everyone wins, everyone succeeds. So now you might ask Julie. What does it cost me? Friends, there is a one-time on um, out-of-pocket payment of a $97 to be a founder. When you pay with credit card, you pay an extra $5 credit card fee. It will get you activated right away. This just to show that you have skin in the game and trust the vision. Basically, when you become a founder, you lock into the on passive revolutionary pay plan. Once on passive launches, you will become a customer with a one time payment out of pocket between 200 to $300. This will allow you to access to all the products and services, whether you use them or not. After that, your monthly subscription is automatically paid out of your earning, whether you use the product or not. So your total out of pocket is right around 300 to $400. That's it. You get to own an online business that all done for you around 300 to $400. Wow. I like to talk about the benefits of being a founder, not founders, a founder. The opportunity is giving you a chance to lock in now into an on passive revolutionary pay structure. The window opportunity is closing very soon as we ready to, uh, to go for launch. At that time, there will be no more founders position offer. You can pre-build your team of customer now by inviting others to join you as a founder. Founders will have additional perks, including special marketing campaigns, access to new products to test, bonuses, and especially private meeting and gathering with our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufar. What does traffic mean? 
how will it work for me? How will I make money? On passive uses artificial intelligence to target customers who look for products, tools, and services. Our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufar, is an expert with traffic and his team has created many marketing campaigns ready to go. Each founder, customer will have a unique domain name or a website link which circulating around the globe. Your website will be fresh and new every day, hosted and managed by OnPassive. OnPassive will drive targeted to traffic to your link. Customers then will click and buy the package at, or a la carte products and you will earn a commission. You will not need to manage the customers at all. On passive does all the work and you will earn. I love it right here on passive is a done deal for you. So why does our CEO doing this? Mr. Ash Mufarit's vision is to create a level playing field where everyone can be successful. His proprietary pay plan is generous and will be released to us as launch time. He wants us, all of us, to fill our tank and then go out and help others. We have Obless as a product for all of us to be able to do that. Money does not motivate him. It helped helping us to be successful so that we can give back to humanity, lights him up. He wants the 97% of us to win. Mr. Ash Mufar has created a business model that has newer and never witnessed before ever. Truly, the intense love does not measure. It just gives. And that's truly how I see the heart of Mr. Ash Mufar. He is the man that created on passive and he will be above all. All of these gentlemen here have done, have created products for the world, but Mr. Ash Mufar would be the one that above all because of his heart for humanity. So what's next? You've heard a lot of information, but you might want to be in it. What's next? The next step for you is to become a founder by getting back with the person who told you about OnPassive. They will have a registration link for you to sign up. It's by invitation only. So please be sure to get back with the person who shared this with you. They share it with you because they want you to win with them. Basically, when you are in, you invite and you share the opportunity with others to help pre-build your team of customers, although you are not required to do so. You will be successful either way. Please visit www.onpassive.com to learn a little bit more about the products. Everyone, we all have hope. We all have dreams. We all have difficulties in life, struggles, obstacles in life, but please don't, do not give up hope. One day you will see that it all has finally come together. What you have always wished for has finally come to be. You will never look back. You will look back and laugh at what has passed and you will ask yourself, how did I get through all that? No matter what, don't let the past or your current situation dictate your future. Focus on the prize and keep moving forward. All prize is on passive. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Julie. I am a proud founder of On Passive. The image that you see here is the image of Mr. Ash Mufar thanking all the founders across the world to be with him, to be with him, to lend our helping hands 
and to be with him. Who understand him and who can take his vision and share it to the world. Thank you so much for you being here and listen to what I share today. It is now time. If you are a guest today, if you could please raise your hand if um, what I share with you today is not clear to you. And if you are a founders and you have been taking some time off, you wanted to come back and ask question. We are all here with you. We do have our leadership council here with you. I see Peter Schur is here. Robin Noble is here with us as well. I believe Marty DeGamo is also with her and other founders are here with us who are always open arm and help whatever it needs. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your attention today. Thank you so much. I'm not crying today, so it's good. It's another step up. <laughs> awesome, Judy. You're awesome, Julie. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate all your comments. And um, right now, I would love to, if our guests here have no questions, um, you're more than welcome to ask questions anytime. However, um, we do have our friends, founders across the world here. Uh, it is now a good time for you to please turn on your camera so all of us here can see you. And uh, also our founders in the room, if you have questions, you like to say a few words, um, please come on down. David, David, David is in the house. David, <laughs> no. Okay. Mm I'm gonna pick on my dear brother Marty De Gamo. Marty, I'm uh, I'm glad to see you here. I know you've been through some uh, rough time with your family and your sinuses, and I'm glad you are here. Um, if you could talk, if you could please unmute your mic and uh, share with us a little bit what's in your mind tonight. Well, technically, there's a lot of mucus in my mind, but <laughs> no, I, 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 I think a very good presentation. Julie, it's amazing you doing that because meeting people in person is the best of the best. I can't wait until we can do that. You know what I mean? I think to me that that's as big as I'm passive launching to me when we can get out of this mess and people can go meet each other. And like I said, one of my goals is to have a big living room so I can have founders come over, have a nice place to stay that I have a private area for them and I'm, I'll be set for the rest of my life. We can all meet in the living room and tell stories of the crazy journey that we were on. Because looking back then, it'll all be funny. It may not be funny right now, but Looking back, it'll be pretty funny. And I met a lot of friends here. You're like a sister to me, Julie, you know that. And uh, everything you do, you're a, you're a spark plug, that's for sure. But everybody <laughs> I see on here has grown so much. Uh, I, you know, I think what happens when I'm passive, it did with me in like six, seven months in, I meet people and I put them in a lock, you know, I want to lock and give them a headlock and tell them how great this is because I'm, overwhelmed with what we're in so you just want to choke somebody into understanding it and it, you know you can't you got to lay back and take it easy and just give them the bullet points don't give them too much and then that's it and what's worked the best for me is a little bit means a lot and yeah even somebody that spams me i use spam all the time somebody spams me and says hey my name's john how you doing well i'm doing great i know where it's leading so I, it goes, where do you live? I'm sick of my bio says I live in New Jersey. Let me try this one. I live in New Jersey. Oh, what do you do? I work online. Yes, so do I. You know what I'm doing? And I said, no, I don't know what you're doing. So he told me and I said, that's great. You think about doing something, you ever have your mind open to something else? I said, no, I'm really, really happy with what I'm doing. I find something now that is satisfying after 17 years online. 
But thank you anyway, and I wish you the best of luck. Now, keep in mind, everybody you're talking to, or at least 99.99, are losing money. So you're going to win this conversation, okay? It's a win-win, no matter what he tells you. Then eventually, they'll come back, maybe not even the same day. Okay, so what are you doing? Then you let them know. It, wor it works almost every time. Because let's face the facts. Most people online, unless you're Jake Fish from the other webinar where this is the first business he's ever been in. He's got to be the luckiest guy to walk the planet. Um, you get you get these little sly statements like you're, you know, hey, what am I doing over here? You know, do you? It's all tricks. It's magic mirrors. Be upfront with people. Tell them what's up. If they're, if they're not ready, move on. Like we said, a founder's a founder. They have vision. They have heart. If they don't have that, I wouldn't try to talk them into it. I've seen a handful of people that have the title founder. And they're no more they're no more a founder than I am a ballerina. Okay. So you just gotta be careful. Just get founders in because let me tell you, I'm gonna say this again. Your teams are gonna be massive one day. And a lot of the people that you've seen online are gonna be in your downline, not above you. So be happy. They're coming, they have no choice. They're all gonna look for a deal. And the deal is they can get all their marketing under one shelf for about 250 bucks instead of three or $4,000 a month. It's not brain surgery, they're coming. You just gotta open the door and they'll be there. Trust me, I know. It costs a lot of money to do what they're doing. And that's just marketers. Schools, my, all my kids are home again. All my grandchildren were sent home. E-learning on, online, it's gonna explode a half a trillion dollar business in five years. Half a trillion, we're part of that. So it's a big deal. I forgot what the question was, but that's my answer anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. I appreciate you always supporting what I'm doing and everyone here as well. Um, anyone else in the room that has questions? Even founders' questions. I'm sure if we ask about things that are not proprietary, we could uh, we could uh, ask. Or anyone in the room, in the chat, or in the yeah, in the Zoom. I have a quick question. Yes. To everybody there that's with you. Is Julie 5'4? Everybody. Can you see? Are you 5'4? Five, five? No, I'm 5'5. Five, five. Okay. How tall are you, I'm Mike? Six one, so I can, can we stand together? Because they're fighting. Oh, get you know. over it because so I'm I tired can, of you yeah. saying it. Get over there and stand next to somebody 5'5. Five, five. This is important for everybody here in El Paso. Do you have heels on? I have heels on. Do you have? And how tall is the lady next to you? Me? I'm six one. Hey, Julie's oh, wearing high God. heels today, so she's like five eight. There you go. Wow, you had to get I next to the. Volleyball. Why did you go to the tallest lady in the room? It's okay, and I don't mind because I know I'm tall. <laughs> and you know, this is the height I'm looking for, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Julie. I'm just messing with you, that's all. I know you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, um, I see Peter, sir. Thank you, Marty. I like you to, I liked you to come back though, Marty. Uh, Peter, sir, if you could um, please, I'm gonna remove, why am I always Hi, seeing myself here? Hi, Peter. Hi, great presentation. Thank you for all you do. What, a, what an awesome presentation. I really like it a lot. And Marty, definitely good to see you, man. I'm glad that you're uh, up and running back to normal here and uh, doing webinars. I appreciate you, man, for everything that you do. Uh, hey, listen, uh, you know, Julie had touched up, you know, how Ash uh, liked to help the 97%, okay? So think about it for a minute. Uh, I'm pretty sure, um, let's, let me speak about myself. <clears throat> I lost a lot of money in other companies, many companies that I joined because I was the 97% that lose money because only 3%, the people on top, they make money. Ash with a big heart, he wanna make sure everybody wins, not just the 3%. He wants all the 97% and the 3%, everybody to win. So on passive is the only one that can do that. The, the, the way he structure it, 
he's he's a very smart man he he wants he cares about humanity you know he he cares about people in png in africa in the middle east and asia you know he he cares about everybody he wants everybody to have home clean home uh good food on their table and you know be able to raise their children properly and that's what he wants he, he wants you know he wants a human to raise to the top and that's what it's all about helping each other out and all us as a founder we're gonna do that with all bless one of our product and own passive we're gonna be blessing the world thank you julie again for a beautiful presentation great work Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I know you have uh, visited Mr. Ash Mufarit in Orlando. Uh, could you please uh, talk to us a little bit about your experience and what were you doing in Orlando and what's the project are you uh, working on? Okay, great uh, question, Julie. So um, I was speaking in one of the webinars. I think it was yours, if I'm not mistaken. And um, we were talking about what's our passion and how how are we gonna bless the world when we um, we have you know the income that we're looking for in on passive. So Ash heard me talking about the how I have passion about helping the homeless in the state of Michigan. That's where I live, and uh, he came out uh, later on. I didn't recognize he was even in the webinar, and he came on later. And he heard me and he, he really liked the project. And he says, we're going to do that. We're going to help the homelessness in Michigan. Um, about a week later, he called me on my cell phone and we chit chatted and he wanted to help the homeless in, in Michigan. He wanted to start that as a project. And once we have it successful, we know exactly what's how to do it. He want to spread it around the world. And he invited me to go see him in Florida. <clears throat> uh, I told him the following week I was going to Florida on a business trip anyway. So he says, okay, then it's all set. You're coming, you're coming over. So I did end up meeting with him. Uh, you know, I expected like, you know, I, I, I drove like a couple hours to get to him from where I was staying at. And, um, you know, I expected like a half hour, an hour meeting, end up about seven hours. The time flew by very quickly. And um, uh, he invited me for dinner afterward. And, uh, you know, and we talked obviously about the homelessness in Michigan. And that's one of the, his goals that we have to start um, pretty soon here. So that's what he wants to help. Uh, we're gonna start with Michigan and spread it out throughout the United States and around the world. Because like I said earlier, everybody deserves a home and clean food on their table. Nobody should be uh, going to bed hungry, you know? So that's how big heart Ash have for everybody. So, and he's extremely smart, very funny guy too. <laughs> I love that guy. He's like a brother to me. Thank you, thank you, Peter. I appreciate you share. Um, is Chris Johnson here? I know you both are working on the the Angel program. Do you yeah, want to talk he, a little bit uh, about that? I believe his um, his neighbor have uh, a wedding. I believe he's attending. Okay. Uh, I don't see him. Okay. Yes, we are working on an Angel list that we are adding up together. Not just in, in Michigan, because once once we have that program going in Michigan, uh, we're gonna take it worldwide, literally in the United States and worldwide. So yes, we are collecting names of people who want to help and do good projects around you know their city, their their state, and we're just gonna spread it around. All blessing everyone. Thank you, Peter. Hopefully, uh, when Chris is, uh, can join us. <laughs> or probably not. Uh, we'll we'll have uh, you know we'll have you both talk a little bit about that. Um, I see that uh, Red is here with us also. Red from the UK. I would like to hear a little bit from you, Red. Hey, good morning. It is very stupid o'clock over here in Greece. 
oh, at the boy. moment. <laughs> <laughs> No, never mind. Do you know something? This is the commitment that we all have um, within on passive that uh, you do what is necessary. And one of the things I've loved about being part of this journey with on passive is uh, how I've seen people grow uh, as leaders within on passive. All you guys here who are uh, uh, founders right now, uh, and for anybody else who's listening. Uh, this is a very important uh, part of what on passive is, is that you really do grow in yourself uh, as part of what on passive gives you. Not only uh, are we going to be part of a mega business, a mega company, uh, but also we are encouraged by our CEO and founder, Ash Farah, to actually do what we want to do. Now, if that means, uh, like Peter's just said, uh go around helping people uh that is possible with on passive if you are just in for the money that is also very possible with on passive but more importantly for me is that you find out a lot about yourself uh with on passive and that is because you are encouraged to come out of your shell to uh realize what your own potential is and i mean this um, from a point of view of potential of who you actually are yourself and you have the ability to be the person you want to be with on passive it really is an amazing scenario I've never come across any business at all uh, that I've been part of with our uh, on the internet where we are allowed to be whoever we want to be now for myself and I know that many, many people here, uh, we are warts and all. And what, what do I mean by that? Uh, the reason I'm saying this is because many of the projects or companies I've been involved with over the past, they try and mold you down a route of what they want you to be. With on passive, we are just normal people. As Peter said, we are the 97%. We are the people that are used, abused, thrown away as a number. But with on passive, this amazing company has been built on all of us here. Normal, everyday people. Shapes, sizes, colors, creeds, all of us are just normal, everyday people. And we have been given this company for us to grow into. And that's the one thing I love about this company is the friendships and bonds that I now have in this company because of on passive. I mean, I have got a second family. I mean, who would be stupid enough to get up at quarter to six in the morning after I've been on a wedding night and had two hours sleep just to come and talk on here. And the reason I have done this is because I feel so passionately about this company, about the futures that it is going to change. And believe me, guys, it will be changing every single one of our lives. It's as simple as that. Everybody here who is a founder right now, now your life's going to change. Your family's life is going to change. And the local community around you will change because of this company. And this is why I am so excited about it, because it is going to affect the poorest of our communities not the richest of our communities. They've got enough money, okay? This is what Ash's vision is, is to change lives, change communities, and actually almost change countries around the world. So I'm very privileged to be a founder here in On Passive. I've loved my journey, and I know Ash does go on about, it's about the journey, and it certainly is. I'm the same as Peter and some of the other leaders in On Passive where I've been in over three years now. And the change and direction, uh, what's come our way as far as uh, products, services, uh, how we are, has changed exponentially over that three years' time. We are so close now to this finish line, and I am almost like a kid in a candy sweet uh, store at the moment, waiting for everything to go kaboom. I can see all those presents all lined up under that tree. And I'm just bursting to get through that door and rip them all apart. I'm so excited. Back to you, Julie.
Thank you, Red. I appreciate you very much. I know it is very early there and I really appreciate you. I do hope that you have a great time there uh, in Greece as well. Uh, up next, I'd like to hear from Robin. Robin Noble, if you could please unmute your mic and uh, we would love to hear your thought. Thank you, Julie. Hello, everybody in California. Hello, old founders. Wonderful to be with you again. Julie, excellent presentation and wonderful leadership as usual. Everyone, this is such an exciting time to be joining on Passive if you're not in already. The opportunity to be able to help others and to give them the same chance to have what you are getting as a founder and still with so much more to be revealed. Those of you with other companies, the added benefit of having all these excellent tools and uh, platforms that on Passive will provide as additional services at the same one price that covers everything is incredible. So these are the sort of things that make this incredibly exciting and very, very um, innovative and never been done before. Having the opportunity to have 50 different platforms support there to help you. Uh, you can do it yourself. You can get additional support if you want to do that. But you can also promote legal companies within the customer base of on passive but also taking it out to the world so this is unlimited in terms of what can be done and ash is helping all of us to do this with the return being that we will in turn share and help others and give to others and help people in other parts of the world who can benefit from your skill set from your educational opportunities from businesses from health and wellness and all these other opportunities that are available so get excited if you're not in please join us we still have founders positions available but they're going quickly people at a rate of two to three thousand around the world are joining daily so people are getting it north americans have been a little slow in the upstart but they're starting to get that ball rolling this is real folks this is really really happening have a wonderful time i know you're in great company there and um, I look forward to meeting you when you become a founder and we can all start traveling. Take care and have a great night. Thank you, Robin. I really appreciate you come and share your word of wisdom and uh, your inspiration there. So um, I know that Chris Johnson is in the room. I could call him on really quick, but I like to kind of give us um, a little bit of what's going to happen up next. Basically, uh, we are here, founders in our, in the room here. Well, we probably going to have probably another 10 minutes or so, and then we get to do some meeting, kind of planning what's going to happen in coming. And then our guests here um, in the Zoom, uh, since we don't, I don't see any hands that raise or there might be questions. Lynn, if you could please help me, or Kevin, I know you're here as well. If you could please see if there's any question in the chat that we need to address. Uh, and then I also will ask the room here if there's any questions that uh, uh, we all, what founders that have here, this is open forum. Uh, we do have guests, we do have founders. And if you are founders, please uh, keep the proprietary questions uh, for founding uh, meeting later on. But if you are here and if you have any questions that um, you know that uh, that you kind of inkling about not understanding certain thing, uh, we would love to call you on and ask questions because I know that Red is uh, pretty early, pretty late for Marty. So we we're gonna try to get the leaders here just to address that first, and then we're gonna start to you know give comments and all that later on so that we don't keep them you know, um, on too long, because I know that they're all sitting kind of like two hours and a lot of us are driving here to meet people and to basically just to see each other so that we can have a chance to just uh, chit chat with us. So um, right now I'd like to bring on Chris Johnson and if uh, Lynn, if you see any questions out there, if you could please help me uh, with that and then we can Certainly. go. Yeah, so far you. there aren't any at this moment, not any, but I'll keep looking. I appreciate you tremendously, Lynn. Chris Johnson, I see you are in the room. If you uh, would please unmute your mic and say hello. Chrissy, big head, <laughs> block head. Okay. 
There's someone in attendees. Let me see if he's in. Oh, he is in the attendee list right now. So I'll bring him on. There's also a couple more people on there. Let me see. Hello. Ooh. He's looking good. Never Ooh. seen you on suit before. Go. Let me tell you something. I was on here. I get no respect. No respect at all. <laughs> <laughs> I got booted out. Is Ash on here? Because he owes me a booting out. I know that. Man, I heard there was a party, so I got all dressed up. I gelled up the hair, and I see a bunch of people that I love and adore, and they're called my impassive family. Very excited to see the California in the house. I can see Marty's looking really good. Thank you, God, for that. Uh, very, very excited. I just got back from a wedding. I only had a half a drink, so trust me, I'm not drunk, and that was five hours ago. <laughs> Keeping it clean for my impassive family. Very, very excited to see uh, this journey. And I've only been on it for an October will be one year for me. Um, most of you know me. Some of you might not, but you're going to. I guarantee you that because my big mouth is going all over the world trying to explain what a great opportunity this is, what it's going to do to your life, what it's going to do for your family, what it's going to do for your country. It's still be the greatest company I've ever experienced in my life. My buddy, Peter Shore, I think is to the right of me over there. You know, that good looking guy. Uh, he dropped it in my lap. He dropped it in my lap. Two years later, he never told me about it. Two years it took him that to tell me all about this. I'm still one. Uh, that's all right, Pete. I forgive you. But anyway, uh, I'm glad to see that I'm, I'm late because of a, I had a wedding. Uh, I didn't want to put my camera on over there because then you'll see the real Chris Johnson. You guys can't handle that right now, but I'm very excited for Julie. Uh, her, this is what, her third meet and greet now? Third one, fourth one? Third Fifth? one, third, third one, one, yeah. Uh, how many people you got in the crowd there? Anybody I seen, I did see uh, a couple faces I knew on there a couple minutes ago. All right. Well, guess what founders? Pretty soon that's gonna be all of us. Next month, we're gonna have opportunities to travel to get into different places, to meet the king of the CEOs, which is Ash Mafara. Uh, who knows who's going? Who knows who's going to be picked? It'll be fun. Um, I would love to see everyone, but I'm going to promise you, I'm going to see y'all because I'm going to be traveling a lot. Uh, after we launch, I'll be doing some traveling. If I got to take my mom with me and my dog, I'm doing it. All right, we're just going to fire and go. But if you do not get on this opportunity right now, I promise you, I promise you, you'll be crying after we launch. You will be crying. Why? Because me and all 131 people have been trying to tell you for a very long time. Some of you three years, some of you two days. You know, that's the greatest thing about it. Most people, it takes about two days for that light bulb to kick in your head. And when it does, there'll be a second light bulb that kicks in your head. That's about giving. All right, that's what it's about for me right now. Uh, I know, and you all know what's coming at us. All right. But the joy of being able to help other people, the joy of being able to help those people that are on the streets, help those kids with dirty water, help people that don't have homes. It's going to be amazing. And if you're not an angel, you better be, because I'm looking for at least a hundred in each country. I've got a list a mile long right now. You can PM me. You can text me, get on that angels list. So we can set myself, Peter Shore. And um, Pete, the other guys, this Je is it Jeffrey that, that got you into this? That is correct. Yep. Yeah, he's he's in the angel list too. We're going to sit down with Ash Mafara. We're going to draw up some blueprints to get rid of homelessness to start in Michigan. And Pete probably already talked about this already, I'm sure. And then we're going to carry it on to the whole world. And that's where you angels are going to come in and we're going to explode. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh, my God. It's going to be crazy. And uh, we are just going to help the world. Uh, Polly Cherry, I know she's huge in helping that right now. A lot of you are doing a lot of things to help people out right now. That's the kind of people I want. But I also want those new people who've never experienced giving something to somebody with, with no intentions, just giving it to them, helping them out. It is truly the greatest feeling in the world. And uh, it's going to be the most rewarding thing you've ever done in your life. So I'm talking way too much. I wish I could be on. Oh, what was that California's girl song? But I'll get there, Julie. I promise you. I love you all. Keep being smiling. Keep being happy. Marjorie Garmo, I love you to death. 
I'm, I'm hearing your family's doing real good. So praying for you. And I think Red's on here. So he's going to definitely have to follow me today. Take it away, Julie. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks so much. Your energy is like a bunny and I'm passive, right? Bunny? Um, <laughs> thanks so much, Chris. I appreciate you very much. Um, all right. We can I just, have... can I just, Julie, can I just burst Chris bubble and just tell him I was on before you, mate. You need to get in earlier. <laughs> You're so funny. All right. Um, thank you, Red. <laughs> hey, one one yep. thing too, Julie. Uh Ash watched your watched your last live, Red and Chris, and he, he enjoyed it. Oh, oh awesome. amazing. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. That's very kind, Marty. Who is that? See, there you go Tom? again, guys. This this is this is what our CEO does. You know, he he is active all the time looking at us guys. Uh, and it's amazing to have a CEO who is so caring about absolutely everything he does. I mean, how many CEOs care about uh, the foundership of their company? Not many. And it's great for him to see uh, him looking at uh, the likes of me and Mr. Chris Johnson over there. That's for sure. Thanks very much, Marty, for letting us know. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Red. Um, we do have two hand raised in the room. One more thing, Julie. Can somebody try to bring in the name on passive in the I have att attendee? Yeah, I've been trying to. I've been offering, and this person has attempted to go to the panel, but for some reason, is not. I did try it on says, my side as well. Uh, it says rejoining the webinar as a panelist, but he's, that person still stays in the attendee list. Okay, thanks. Marty, right, you want me to boot him? <laughs> do it do it it won't be the first time <laughs> there are a couple of questions in the chat julie but i think you can ask the questions from your live participants there first okay i will do that um as soon as i get two attendees here would like to speak I, I, ask I, questions I, yes um could you come I, I i didn't know your name i'm sorry karen karen, karen come on karen do you like to ask over there? Or do you like to come here? I just want to join because my feeling is that I'm a little blended. I was in this quite a few years ago. I had a great job, lost my job, and started trying to do business online. I was lost thousands of dollars. And I was trying to find a way to make additional money because of my disability. And Julie, sorry to butt in. Can you ask her to come closer to the camera because we can't okay. hear this? Thank, thanks, Red. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry, sorry. Karen, come on in, Karen. I, I stumbled across, I'm like so mad about losing so much money trying to do online business and I'm still trying to learn because I forgot, I forgot everything, how to do everything. But I'm kind of, uh, GoFunders has done everything for me that they always said they would do. They said they'll help you along the way, they'll try. I try to try to present it. Every time I try to present it, I can't remember what I'm trying to say. So mess it up, but they stood by me the whole time. So if you have, if you had difficulties and stuff, Beach. Beach. Okay, that's when right. I'm sitting, I'm perfectly balanced. That's what I'm walking, but I don't have quite the best balance. But yeah, it's a great opportunity. Go for it. Absolutely, Karen. Thank you so much. Okay. Go ahead and then, yeah. Go, Sherry. Go, Sherry. All yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So, where am I looking over here? I'm, um, so I'm not like me. looking. <laughs> I have to kind of yeah, like, technology. I always say this is like, how do they attract a technology company when I'm just like totally, I think I'm I turn doing this, this on? There you go. Anyways, um, I just wanted to just hey, um, shout out to Chris and Peter. Um, this is why I joined Unpassive was for Obless and to be able to help um, 
wherever I can. Um, I think you guys know that I've had several businesses. One of them was a contractor building houses and that. So I am happy to be one of the angels that, uh, that we're going to do something really incredible on this planet. Um, and <clears throat> sorry, I could just, this is where I cry because I just, my heart honestly is like, I, my whole life just wanted to help people. And on passive is the way. So if there's um, guests there and uh, you have the heart of giving and caring, this is the business for you. Even, you know, it's just, um, we just, we're like-hearted people. You know, they say like-minded on passive is like-hearted people. And, uh, you know, I'm from Canada. I've been in uh, the US for about three weeks, well, maybe a month, something like that. And so I just thought I'd just do a little surprise visit and come down and meet Julie and Debbie and just feel the energy of other Go founders. And um, it feels good to be kind of meeting it physically. Like, it's like, wow, like we're going to hug after this, right, Julie? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Chris and Peter please let's um let's do do it and for the guests out there please just um find a place in your heart just um it, it'd be the it'll be the best decision you ever make just coming in to this community and being part of of a movement a movement that's going to really change the world we uh we are loving hearts so come on in spend the 97 absolutely yeah thanks so thank much. you very much thanks so much for driving here yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Julie, may I say yeah. something in regard to what's very just Absolutely. Said? Let me go find you and pin you. Okay, hold on. I can speak right now if you want. Oh, yes, yes, please go ahead. I'll look for you. Oh, uh, yeah. What Jerry was just saying, you know, um, once we get all our apples, you know, just think about it for a minute. If you, each one of us as a founder, just donate out of their apples, you know, like 10 apples every month. You know, we're, we're gonna be a million people just in on passive. Time is 10 apples. Think about it, that's every month. What about if you put a hundred apples? How many humanities can you help worldwide? You know, a thousand dollars a month. Do the math. It would be amazing, you guys just, we're just starting. It's a beautiful ride. Wait and see. We will be helping everyone. You watch. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. So I introduced myself earlier. Um, I would like to share a little bit with you about my story. Everyone here uh, of the founders, whether they joined three years ago or a year ago, like myself, not even a year ago, um, or if they joined last week, um, everyone has their own passive story. I wake up every morning and I remember every day um, my lovely friend Molly and her husband Menachem, who shared this opportunity with me. Um, every one of us founders here um, in this meeting today and all the founders that have ever registered, um, we're blessed to have a friend that thought about them. Um, I really want to reach out to all the founders that received this gift um, and are not sharing it. Just remember that you're in it because someone very, very kind and thoughtful was there to share it with you. And this abundance will be amazing. But once we receive the abundance, um, a founder's position is not going to be available. It might be called something else and it won't be the same opportunity. I just want to reach out to the people that are guests here today. Um, just turn around and thank um, your friend or colleague, whoever sent you the invitation for tonight. Um, your friend that sent you the invitation is um, successful already just for signing up with OnPassive. Um, his, um, 
success is not depending on whether you guests will sign up or not, um, but he's extremely thoughtful for sharing this opportunity with you. So I just want to say, um, I hope that you understand um, that someone out there was thinking about you and spreading the love. And I feel extremely blessed every day. Um, it drives me every day. And for those guests, again, just look around you, look in this Zoom room and ask yourself, why are there people here that have been in this journey and spending time um, around the clock You've heard their you know, crazy hours, uh, waking up, volunteering their time, um, just at an amazing caliber. Why are they here sharing their story, their love story with you? Um, I hope this will resonate. And um, just one last thought in my mind, you know, we don't choose our families. We don't choose really to which parents we're born to. And we don't choose exactly what type of kids we give birth to. I'm a mother of four wonderful kids. Um, but when I was introduced to On Passive and I saw um, the people that were here in the Zoom room, I made a choice that I wanted to be part of this family. And I'm thankful every day. Every day I grow this family. I uh, get to know more family members. And this has changed my life. And I wish for you that you will come on the journey so it can change your life as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I think my virtual background kind of like creating this uh, unclear thing, Majigi. Oh my God, is it better? Little. All right. That's okay. All right. Um, yeah. I do see. Better. Is it better? All right. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Okay. I do see that, that there are questions in the chat. Oh, it's hey, very... George. Yes, Marty. Uh, ask one to come on and say hello. Oh, oh. Woo. He's here somewhere. I tried to get him in for 10 minutes. So much for my technology. <laughs> Mr. Ashmafar, if you could please unmute your mic if you're in the room. We'd love to hear from you. Hello, everyone. Good evening, California. Oh, hey, Ash. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a good evening. And uh, for me, good morning. Yeah. Uh, I still have a way. <laughs> To have a way to go. Uh, congratulations to your neighbors, uh, Chris. Wow, you're looking sharp. And thank you, Julie, for uh, doing this again. Uh, you're in action. And thanks to everyone uh, in the background. Until what time do you have the clubhouse there? We can have. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Slumber party tonight. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad that uh, my brother, Marty DiGarmo here is feeling uh, slightly better. I can hear you, I can understand you. Uh, your, your physical appearance is normal, like nothing there, just when you talk. I told you to slow down smoking, but um, keep changing and switching. Just stick with one kind, okay? But uh, everybody is looking sharp, thank you. Wow, so Ron and uh, Lynn had a webinar, I assume, and now, this is after the hour. So, wow, incredible. I heard you talking about, uh, oh, bless, uh, that caught my attention. Uh, I would like to share with you a little bit of my uh, philosophy on that aspect. Uh, I, I think it might be a bit different to what you think. You might expect me to say, we're going to get to that uh, stage in life, and then we start giving away. That is not the way it works. Wealth is already there. And the minute you take a decision like you, uh, our friend just said, uh, it's, it's by choice, okay? You wanna be associated with such a global family. Uh, the minute you take uh, that decision, your life is on a better track. 
because uh, one of the major and primary resources for myself and sources of confidence, you see me always confident, like I sometimes try to hold myself to slow down or humble down a little bit, uh, not to be labeled as uh, arrogant. Uh, and the reason I have that ultimate uh, confidence is because uh, I learned uh, early on to have the ability and the skill to recreate uh, my mind and the way I think. So I have full control of, of the muscle of my brain. And I believe, and I'm not talking about IQ, I'm not talking about uh, uh, how smart we are. I'm talking about how to think and how to think correctly, how to structure the flow. Because if we're more effective about making decisions, your decisions ultimately shape up your life. So your life today, your financial status today, your social status, everything as of now, if you take a screenshot right now, it is the sum total of your decisions up until this moment in your life. It's not my decision. It's not your neighbor, spouse, or relative. It is your own responsibility. You're in charge. And if you're unhappy about, or someone is unhappy about the direction it's going, uh, that means somebody somehow has uh, excessive influence in you that they're driving you on the wrong direction. So that means you gotta pause and stop. Nothing wrong of, of, of pausing uh, because uh, when you're on the right track and uh, believe in what you're doing and, and take small action, even if it was the last day of your life, but you, leave, you live on a purpose, you, you're living your uh, dreams and goals and uh, uh, your own you know, free decisions in a way, your free will, uh, it will give you that happiness. I'll tell you what, uh, today we can become wealthy and I will help you to, to change that because we often say, when I get to that apple, my brother Peter said, then I will do, no, 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 no. We're going to rephrase that uh, and I'm going to, uh, because wealth is already there. It's not the amount, it's the allocation and the distribution of wealth. We understand. That's why we created Oh Bless so, so early on, because I do believe uh, we have the heart and it, and it comes back to us, just like what Julie and, and the group in California are doing. Uh, when they do that action, I'm sure I guarantee the confidence that she has today is a thousand times or a thousand, you know, X 1000, if you wish, uh, from the last time. Because when you do it and it works, okay, you gain that momentum, you, you, you gain that confidence. When you get that confidence, now she's doing it again. Why? Because when, you, when you're confident, you take more action. You take more action, you get re results and fulfillment. So let me, let me put it this way. Okay, when you say, I'm going to make a million dollars, I want to become a millionaire. Okay, of any currency. Okay, so if you're just thinking the amount, that is the wrong thinking, then you're never going to be satisfied because you're going to just only when you get to that amount, the figure, when you think you're going to be happy, but it's not going to work that way. But when you are on the journey of the 1 million of any currency, even if you're at zero today, but you have the mindset and the direction and the determination to pursue that 1 million level, then you start feeling confident, then you, you, have, uh, you have that fulfillment in life, okay? And it gives you the happiness and you take more action and you get more results. If you enjoy the process, not the amount, not the figure, the process. That's exactly what we're doing on passive. Small actions, because somebody would say, uh, I'm making 50,000 a year. Let's put it of any currency, okay? Uh, that should be enough. So the question is, is not the amount. It could be actually enough, 
But what you're looking at is, are you doing your best? And getting that fulfillment and building and piling that confidence within. Why not making it 500,000, like half a million? It's the same concept. Why would you settle for, like, would you consider a little bit extra effort? Why not 5 million? So always think big, expand your dreams, okay, uh, and, and work on it. Uh, and that's why I say everything matters. Every founder matters. Because listen, successful people care about everything and anything. Just like my brother Red said, okay, I watch everything. Why? Because every single word and every single video or activity about the business matters to me good or bad. And if you are careless about something, that is the unsuccessful philosophy. Sophisticated people care about the details and, and they care about the $5 and they care about the five minutes. They care about the one founder. They care about the one word or the video or the bad or the unprofessional or the perfect video. Everything matters. That's why one click a day, one comment a day, a prayer matters. Absolutely. Because what you do in a day is going to give you that booster. And then you're going to pile up and you're going to compound and you're going to accumulate for the next day. Tomorrow, you're going to be at a higher level in terms of confidence. So I do believe it's the allocation of wealth. And it's the other way around. It's not like when I, I'll do this when I get to the money. No, 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 no. I made a decision, I'm going to be wealthy because I'm going to do that. That's why I'm working on passive. That's the vehicle that you and I are building. So it can be the, the vessel in a way that will enable us to do that because I don't know, uh, not many of you or those who believe, uh, uh, let me just say, uh, the Bible actually says, the love of money is the root of all evil. I don't know if you know this. So, but it doesn't say don't become successful or wealthy. Now, regardless of your faith, I do agree with that because it can be an enemy. If, if you're just doing it for the money, but if I'm doing it like they just said for, oh, bless, if I'm doing it for a higher cause than myself, and, and regardless of the, the, the figure, the number, then I am at a higher level of a humanitarian value, like Peter said. And, and did you see the, uh, the pride, him saying that? Like, it, we didn't get to that level, but did you see how he carries himself in a way, uh, delivering the statement you just watch and imagine this is you know going through. Uh, so the money is there, the wealth is there, the, the, the intelligence is there. It's just how do we uh, utilize it? And make no mistake, all of us together with that common mentality and uh, uh, way uh, and the heart and the way uh, uh, we, uh, we strive to change and make a difference in humanity, uh, it will be impactful. So I want to thank everybody here. Again, I uh, couldn't resist. I ignored a few invitations here because, as you know, I'm bored a little bit and uh, I, I just couldn't take it. They, they just like, I've got to stop by here and say hello to you to show you my appreciation, my gratitude for everything you're doing. But I can tell you what, we are so ready. We are so ready to shake up the internet. On passive is red hot. It's, it's, it's sizzling now. So. so I, I said a statement, but I don't wanna uh, disappoint you. Uh, how about this? Okay. Um, and this is as easy as, as it can get because most people think multi-millionaire, a billionaire, a successful, you know, uh, lifestyle or, um, thank you, babe. My wife just brought me a drink. Thank you. 
uh, and uh, most people think it's just like that's not for me or my, not for my class or type of people. Uh, they uh, they think it just is is not for them. It's for everybody. It's there, especially uh, when somebody cares about you here and somebody brought you and somebody thought about you for in, in on passive. And when I say comment, click, pray, support, wish, uh, I mean it because everything that matters, you're talking about every single day. What I want you to add to it now, when you're clicking, you, th you think like, okay, if I click like on, on Chris Johnson's video, how is this going to make any impact on humanity? It does. I'll tell you why. When I do that action, it gives me more confidence myself. It gives me that conviction and that uh, uh, that faith, that certainty that we are on the right track. Because when I'm doing so, I believe it's one step of becoming successful and wealthy. Okay, no matter how big or small, because any ultimate goal is made of increments of small goals and activities. Okay. So, and how you do anything, anything is how you do everything. So, what I want you to do from now on, on this moment, watch a video or a webinar, attend a webinar. This is an action, but not only watch it thinking, I don't even know why. I want you to know why. I want you to do it as you are creating your wealth you are building your own uh, legacy i don't have the power to boot anybody or mute anybody i tried to mute that sound okay i'm powerless chris so uh, okay thank you uh, uh it just i i really want to want to encourage you, not just in on passive, not in on passive, not in business, in everything. If you, if you always uh, focus on the end results as it's already happening, like my mentality, done deal, do it or die. If you believe in it, that's it. B become unstoppable. I mean, no matter what happens, uh, you, you become stronger. And every day, uh, if, if, can you imagine you wake up one day and you're that wealthy? Like one time, you didn't live to the process. You didn't live up to the details. So there will be a gap. Just like a donkey loaded up with cash. Benjamin Franklin, uh, you know, Franklin Benjamin. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, piled up with $100 bills. Okay. And then doesn't understand why. That's a lucky person. But when you do it by design, it's incredible. And you will start feeling that way on day one if you are with the right mentality and mindset. Meaning, if I decided today, th this is my journey on passive. E example, I'm not saying this is the only way. And... I'm in it to win it and I am going to succeed and I'm going to do my part, whatever I can do. We are not the same. Everybody can do something. The little things matter. Okay, so when you do that, but I want you to start thinking and say it to yourself and to your surrounding, say, I'm already building my wealth. I'm working on my wealth. I'm becoming wealthy today. Well, is watching a video becoming a, yes, yes. If I didn't do that, I, I wouldn't be here today. Looking and learning and, and understanding and observing things, yes, it's important. You have made a wise decision, okay? Because you do have options, okay? 
I understand it's minimal, it's weenie, it's $97, but don't look at the value because again, it's the allocation. What do you do with your money? You took the wealthy decisions because, you know, on the poor people, what they do, and again, poor is, is mentality, is not, it's a mindset, not what you have in your bank account because that's temporary. It can change in a very short period of time. You'll be amazed how things can change. Uh, but but poor people is they spend everything they can without any calculation or vision, and then if any left over, they try to what do I do with this? And if they invest in an opportunity or become founders, it's not the right mindset. But when you prioritize this investment again again not as a security or you're investing to get money back i'm talking about investing in your career in your future in your uh, uh uh you know process of acquiring wealth when you do such a thing okay uh that is the the rational and that's the wise thinking you do it the other way How, what can i do to get to my goal now and the leftover, I spend it on the typical things. You're not going to die. You're not going to starve. Don't worry. So when you when you do that, and, and don't look at the figure, look at the decision. You put a portion, doesn't matter, even if it's a dollar, okay? You, you put a portion of that available money that you have aside investing in your future and what a wise decision it was uh, so i every time i want to come here i want to make sure i give you value I, I give you uh a bit of rationality of why we do things uh, we're not randomly guessing or picking things okay i want to put you on a track that worked for me an easy hack for success easy is follow something that worked before it's likely to work again and somebody is honest and genuine and being ethical with you to tell you to avoid what doesn't work you know how much time and money this could save you put a million founders if i put you on the wrong track look at the responsibility i have on my shoulders and we waste one year of our life. One year, unproductive, it's not leading us to that ultimate goal. That's one million year down the drain. That's how many lives? Okay, it's, it's crazy when you think about it that way. Uh, so everybody would think a, a year from your, but it's a year from our life. So it is important that I align your brain and mindset with me, why we do, oh, bless. When you do such a thing, it's gonna give you fulfillment. Why we do it in such a way that I want you to save a lot of time instead of figuring things out and, and you know the guru stuff and teaching you, no, no, no. I, I, we can do that, but chances we don't have time to learn and implement and be effective and correct and go back. And it, it might take you a while and not everybody's interested in the process. So, so it, it is more ethical for me to wrap it up in such a way that is automated, that is uh, uh, all you know, uh, digitized and uh, in, in such a technical fashion where uh, the heavy lifting is done for all of us. We create the machine, not the, the other way around. And, uh, you know, that's one of the advantage, uh, advantages about technology. So why not to put it to work? Uh, to our advantage, because the, the, the most precious value and the only thing that we cannot recycle is time. Okay? If, if we know we have unlimited time, then we, we can try. We can always come back and fix and correct. We don't have unlimited time. We have a limited time. And how do we utilize it? 
So every day, I want you to wake up, say, I am headed to my success. I am working on my wealth. Oh, you're insane. You're like, you're just reading comments or watching a live Zoom or webinar. And you're telling me you're working. Yes, you are working on your, that, that's, people think it's very complicated. It's, it's much easier than that. It's just to align your brain and heart with the right people. It's easy if it's on the right track. You just follow what's been working. We're not the first to create wealth. It is there. There's enough for all of us. Again, the allocation, just like your own money. You, you got this budget. You can choose to go, uh, I, what do you do with, the, with $97? What do you do with $97? What can $97 buy you? A million options or gazillion options? One option is to become a founder of the ultimate business. I want everybody to join me with a big prayer. I'm not going to pray. I don't know how to do that publicly, or, uh, but just in your heart and mind uh, for Mari de Garmu uh, and his family. Uh, he, uh, he's holding up the, the whole ship together. And I know most of us here, we are believers and we, uh, uh, we believe in prayers. It, it worked for me and I thank you for that. It just never uh, failed. And if you... Uh, if you don't believe in prayers, uh, that's also fine, but you have to send him cash. So choose. Either you believe, boom. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that's all I had for now. I hope, I hope you understand you're not in a small venture. You are in, in a very meticulous, sophisticated, uh, well-calculated uh, track. And, and we will not disappoint you. We are very, very uh, uh, serious about your future, okay? And every minute we spend together. I wanna give you value. And I believe we are on the perfect track to succeed. I wouldn't choose anything else. I wouldn't look at anything else. Uh, if you tell me, go back to day one, I will not you know, wish to change it. I love the way, so so endorse it and, and just, um, cherish the the process uh, it is it is going to pay off even before it happens don't wait for the event okay now we can we can have fun thank you thank you thank you mr ashmore for so much for your time being here uh please send our love to your family to the tech team that uh, are working very hard for all of us uh, and absolutely, uh, we appreciate you come on and sharing that with us. I think all of us here, um, you know, making decisions every day consciously is what we all need to do is, you know, asking ourselves, are we doing this just because, or do we have a better purpose being here? So uh, I appreciate you so much uh, for coming on and give us your word of wisdom, your heart and uh, everyone here always, all of us here, uh, almost 300 people here, always, always appreciate you and seeing you here. Please send our well wishes to uh, your family and the tech team as well. Thank you. Two Thank questions, you. Julie. Number one, uh, are you liking the community now? Everybody, I want to make sure everybody's aware you can post now. It's been revamped fully. It's uh, perfect speed to me and uh, it should work. So uh, let's put it to work while it lasts uh, because it's going to transition to something different. Question number two, California event. Okay, three options. LA, anywhere in LA or uh, San Diego or Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh. Where? One, two, three. Orange County, Orange County. <laughs> Orange Don't County. look for convenience. <laughs> Julie. We could have three events. I have a perfect location. I've already worked on it. I've Newport? already worked on it. I have a perfect location. 
Yes. Newport Beach or where? Uh -huh. Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. Oh, that yeah. Montage. I've worked on it. I, I've already spoke with them. I'll put together and I'll send you the details. <laughs> I'm taking the initiative. Woohoo! Yes. Yes. It's the place to be. It's a place to be. That's what Terry Thompson said. Yes. Okay. Ron and Lynn. Ron and Lynn. Okay. Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, obviously, or uh, Clearwater, Orlando. Orlando. <laughs> Lynn? Mm, Orlando's not too far from me. I can deal with it, and it'll be convenient for you, mm -hmm. Ash. Orlando, Easy for Orlando. you. I look at the specific spots that I've been into, and every time uh, it's too, uh, I don't want it to, to, to look too corny, or, uh, but uh, at times I've been in places and I wish my founders and unpassive family would be there. I'm talking about nice places. There's a lot of them in Orlando here. You know that. Yeah, but I've seen nicer. <laughs> All right. So everyone, everyone you are listening to right now, that's a hint he's dropping, right? Right now <laughs> is the time to reach out to everyone in your team, around your area. If you can, get on to webinars, tell them where you are. Let's connect. I think that's a hint we, we're getting right now. So in California, can we commit everyone to get together and invite friends over? Clearwater, yep. Florida. Thank you, Mr. Ash. We've got Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, indeed. Well, again, uh, October sounds to be uh, or seems to be an interesting month and we'll uh, reveal more details as we go. But I wish I could meet each and every one of you. I hope that we will all be uh, uh, safe and, and healthy and because I want to be huggable and kissable. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine with a mask? Like, my goodness, we waited <laughs> all of that. What I hate about the, the mask, not only it blocks any good essence or uh, but also... <laughs> You smell yourself. Did you realize that? <laughs> and oh boy, it's ugly. It, it is 300, not almost 300, uh, Julie, by the way. Yes, this <laughs> it's over 300 now. <laughs> so, how is it now in uh, Newport Beach? Uh, Windy? It was, was it? No, it, it was pretty sunny today, and then suddenly it's all it's got so cloudy, and then thunder, and then lightning, and then oh, a little wow. rain. But uh, tell why, what we said. Huh? Oh yes, yeah. Terry. I like to hear Terry said because Terry witnesses. Terry, please come on down. <laughs> Hi, Ash. <laughs> How you doing? Looking Good. great. You? Wow. Thank Incredible. You. Thank you. I, um, yeah, it was unusual because it was a gorgeous day and then the lightning and thunder it was unbelievable, which is kind of unusual here. And I said, that's okay. God just knows we're having our um, passive meeting and he's just letting everybody know about it. <laughs> it came in full force. Can't have enough, to be honest with you. Look at uh, Ron and Lynn. I mean, they, they just finished over. When did you finish? We finished at just at 10. We finished quarter at to, 10 p.m. Quarter to 10, yeah. wasn't and, and No, you, we finished at 10. Did you even take a break or you just immediately joined here? Immediately joined Is to that, support this event. Definitely. Wow. What do you call this? Family. Pure joy. Um, Total fever. joy. We, we call this a true life-changing event. Every day is the event when we all- um, passive fever. fever. Dedication, yeah. dedication. Yeah. Commitment, commitment. With Absolutely. joy. Dedication. To, to me, it's an addiction. 
Exactly. I would agree with that. I would agree a, with that. A good one. A good one, though. <laughs> like, I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to. On fast, definitely addictive. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ash. I'm going to let Julie take over, but thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Oh, look my goodness. I look forward to um, meeting you in Orange County. <laughs> so are we, are we going to be, uh, we have to level up with these people in uh, Orange County, like they're in style and they're like in fashion and uh, fit. And then we and have Ms. Mojito. We have Phil's. I, I guess uh, Chris is, is ready to go there. Chris? You're going. I'm going. I'll be there. Marty, thank you very much again for doing that to me. <laughs> Ash, if you said it was on Mount Everest, because I know we're going to go a lot higher than that, I'll meet you at the top, buddy. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's not that cold. It's actually warm. So we're going to make sure. Yeah, everybody. It is. It is going to be beautiful. All right. And uh, uh, to me, it's already beautiful. I mean, how could you just like spoil what we have? I mean, could you screw it up like right now? You got to be real dumb. <laughs> we got everything. <laughs> we got everything to be successful. So uh, that's it. To me, uh, we won and uh, we're done. Or it's a done deal in a way. I don't want to imply that work is done. But I agree with you. Uh, we're all waiting for that uh, moment of getting together. That's just going to take it to a higher level. Thank you for uh, giving us the the rehearsal in a way, Julie, and all those who are doing those events. Uh, even if we have to do it outdoors, fine, we'll do it. Yes. Yes. Right on. Indeed. That's why we love you. Thank you so much. Love you too. Thank you, Sal. Thank you so much. Excuse me, Marty. Hey, Josh. Marty, can you let Polly Cherry uh, in, please? Any location in Michigan, Ash? Detroit, obviously, yeah. yeah. Very good. Is that good? Absolutely. Or Troy. Yes as a possible location. Roger. Oh, there's all kinds of nice I'm, I'm going to give you the criteria. Look for the best food. <laughs> <laughs> a hot spot for the food. Pete's wife cooks a mean dish. We're going to have to go to Pete's house first. His wife's a good cook. Always. All oh, right. I think, oh, I think we have enough talent. And if you go to Orange County, we can cook pho. Like Absolutely. Pho? I, I love it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> could see that absolutely Thank yeah that, that has to be on the list julia i'm going to take you on that uh, offer okay no joke okay, okay. and uh i still i'm i'm for the shawarma too where did uh, my friend go right. yeah uh, but i'm not sure santa barbara if they have that yeah just mm -hmm. either san diego or la i I assure you, Ash, that I have special shawarma that you've never seen before in that special form. Something extremely special that's only lamb in or uh, or turkey. What do they use? Beef. They use, I think, turkey or chicken, but it's in a form that you've never seen before. Talking about oh wow cultures, it's outstanding. And All right, stop the recording. Over. We have a serious talk now. What is a <laughs> format? The creator, the creator is a founder in on Right on. Right on. So what is that? Is it rap? Are you talking about? I'll keep it a secret. Is, is it pita, baguette? I'm not giving it up. I, I don't want to be uneducated. <laughs> okay. I like some uh, mystery in my life. <laughs> so you don't want hospital food ash absolutely not i hope i would never have to taste it again and that's where i'm headed right well, now to the hospital for four days key they put me on a liquid uh, food and i didn't know why it looks like a mistake i realized like like it, it i didn't have 
appetite anyway. Uh, but that was, then one day I said, why are you giving me liquid? Like, you know, the jello or just whatever juices or. And then uh, they put you in a liquid. Did you ask? I know. I never asked for any kind of like specific food. And then when, when they brought the solid food to me, oh, it was disgusting. So I hope <laughs> no one of you would, would, would have to taste that food. Yeah, I'm hoping I never have to eat hospital food again after about two or three months. <laughs> oh, that is that is that a time? Wow. <laughs> are, are you serious? Are you retiring? All depends. Working on it. Well, you're you're essential, so we need you. Yeah, I'm gonna find another essential way to help people. Yeah, it's all good. So you're going to work now, or you? Yes, sir. No, wow. I'm headed. I'm headed to work now. We're short staffed, and they called and needed help. So it's midnight, and I'm driving to the hospital. Oh, you take care. Uh, Will do. Yeah. Do you still wear the mask? I know you're vaccinated, uh, but do you wear the mask as well? Oh yeah, I wear. From the time I walk in the hospital to the time I leave. I wear an N95. Yeah, that's uh, things. Yep. All right. So you're almost there. If it's you're talking about a short period, you've been doing it for a while. Yeah. A little balance. Ready, ready with ready with all the other founders. If uh, you're talking about tough work, that is tough. What you're doing. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Uh, watching people gotta be strong mentally i mean you see people die all the time i mean how, how every every day how do you cope with it um been coping with it since i was eight years old ash yeah but, i don't know i, would, I, mean, I, I would get sick i think uh god put me in the position i'm in because i'm wired to be able to handle it and do it i mean that's all. That's I. I don't have. A, I don't have a good answer for you on that. So some are wired to do it. Some aren't. Um, just well, like I'm. I'm not. I'm not wired to do coding. You are. Uh, blood and guts and sputum and all that stuff doesn't bother me. And some people can't stand the sight of it. So we're all wired a different way for our special contribution to society. And, Yours is coding and doing what you do with the traffic and and your big heart that help everybody that's here. So uh, I think we're all we're put here for a purpose. Yeah, like the saying, we don't wish it was easier or it was easy. We wish it was better or I was better. So the saying, uh, Jim Brown says, uh, I don't wish it was easy. I wish I was better. Exactly. Yeah, it's tough, brother, but uh, but God bless you. You're doing great work. So, uh, thank you, sir. Indeed. So, where do we see you? North Carolina, or where do we see you? Um, actually, I was going to invite you to lunch next Saturday. Sunday's my birthday. You want to go to lunch with me on Saturday, and I'll go to the a uh, event with Lynn on Sunday. I'll have to drive because there's no airfares if we're, my work schedule. <laughs> so you're talking about the 3rd of October? Birthday, or Yeah, my birthday is the 3rd. I'll drive down uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. And, uh, Fred Bogswager and I talked about the Tampa area and he was almost had me convinced to move down there and looking at places I've never not spent much time in that area so i might drive down i got a three-day weekend so you're gonna see who uh ron uh ron, lynn's putting on a get together in uh sarasota on sunday i think oh god's waiting room okay mm -hmm. That's uh, what they sunday call 47 p.m it's a in-person meetup light refreshments Dr. Derek Clark is going to be our presenter. He's going to do a slide in presentation in Sarasota. 
Yeah, so I wish you okay. could drive in. Show up. So is that where do you uh, is that where you live, uh, Lynn? I thought you're in. I'm in Saint Petersburg. Oh, Saint Pete. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. Why don't you do it there? There's uh, like there's good food there. In Saint Pete. <laughs> yes. Let's have an about? event here. Let's have a corporate event in St. Petersburg. Let's do it. Yeah. Good yes. places. <laughs> Did you see that pier? What do you what do they call it, Lynn? Uh, uh, uh where we just had it. We had an event a couple weeks ago. Ron, what was the pier called? It was uh John's St. John's Pier, right? Something like it was Bubba Gumps. We had Bubba Gumps. Yeah, we, we had a meetup. Uh, with people. John's Pass. John's, John's Pass, Pass Valley. It's yeah, thank pretty. You. Everybody, I advise everybody to check it out. Like, if you are able to, I don't think you're going to come from Australia there, but if you are within Florida, like, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Ash, the best beef in the world is from Alberta. So, Alberta <laughs> beef, you need to come north and hit the Calgary Stampede on your, on your trail. I have to be honest with you, I don't do good with cold, but, uh, but I have to go to, yeah. It's not cold. We get, Maybe. we get to a hundred degrees. Really? <laughs> yeah, we, we get to minus 40 or to a hundred degrees Fahrenheit here. Oh, wow. I like seasons. Yeah, that's beautiful. I uh, like where red is right now. Greece is, is warm. Here you go, Ash. What's, what's for food? What's like, I think, lunchtime now? No, uh, breakfast. Yeah, we're, uh, it's 7 a.m. Just gone. Absolutely. So the, the food here in Greece has been amazing. Um, we've been there. We're in a tourist area, but there's a lot of local taverners. Uh, you know, the, the little ones around the corner where the old granny sat in the, in the corner and the food there has been absolutely amazing. A lot of level bread, uh, which is really cool. Um, a lot of yogurts, a lot of lamb dishes. Lamb. So it's, yeah. it's Do you eat bread. lamb, you and Jane? Yeah. Mm. We, we basically eat everything except for uh, beef. Okay. So, That's good. Wow. So all the white uh, meats. That's good. Lamb too, right? You said. Yeah, we, we eat lamb, but we, we, it's not a st it's not on our diet very staple. I, I guess when you're so, Greek, so you cannot avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, goat and lamb here, which is pretty cool. So, I've enjoyed the food immensely. Uh, in fact, we went back to last night. We went back uh, after the wedding uh, day before yesterday. So we went back to this one taverna that we found in the corner, over overlooking this little bay. It was pretty special. Oh, I almost felt like marrying Jane again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my wife likes the, the Greek food more than I do. I like the, the salad maybe, or, but she's obsessed with uh, the gyro or gyro, as they call it. Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, the pita gyros. The oh, my word. Gyros. And the pies. Yeah. She, she loves all the pies there. Yeah, they use a lot of honey as well here, which is cool. Indeed. All right. Anybody has uh, interesting food so we can plan a, an event? Hey, yes. Since you guys are on the topic of food, have you ever checked out a uh, Portuguese restaurant in St. Pete? Not in St. Pete, but I am familiar with uh, yeah, the Portuguese cuisine and Brazilian cuisine. They're, they're different, but they got similarity. Great. So next time you're in the area, I'll definitely take you to the Portuguese cuisine again. <laughs> My favorite is the, you know, the sardina or something like there's some sauce with sardine. Yeah, sardinhas. Yeah. I think that's what sardinhas. it is. Sardinhas, yeah. And they, uh, they, they do a lot of octopus and pork and sausage, which I don't do well with that, so. Yeah, bolos e bacalhau, if you ever try that, it's really good. I like pandi queijo. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. cheese is really good. You're right. My aunt used to make it all the time and everybody loved it when she did it. 
Hey, Ash. Hey, Ash. Talk to me. Yes. That's Jim from Stratford. Hey, Jim. Hey, how's it going? Do you like bacon? Fantastic. Bacon? Uh, yeah, Canadian bacon. <laughs> I never tasted that, Maybe? and I would never do it. No, I don't eat pork or any product. I do eat like a pig, but I don't eat the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll figure something out for you when you come. I'm to more. I'm more of a pescatarian. I don't mind, you know, occasional meat, but uh, chicken or any bird. But uh, most, if it's my choice, if I don't, if I live alone, I would just eat fish and vegetables and fruit, like a monkey. Oh, you like fish? We got That's a lot. Of, we, every we got day, a lot of, we got a lot of good fishing holes here in Ontario. Trout, salmon. What do you look for Musky. Where do you think I get the brain from? <laughs> Omega. Yeah, a lot of fish. Well, there's a lot of good restaurants in Toronto. I, I know, yeah, I heard. They also have Indian food there. Yep, yep, they do. I'm gaining weight listening to you guys and all that food. But, uh, Rich, <laughs> I, I want to tell you something. You, th you think I'm a big mouth. It's just a chatter, okay? But honestly, I did not have breakfast today. My wife was just offering me now. And I said, no, I don't feel like it today. So I literally had coffee and some water. That's all I had today. Today might be a different, tomorrow will be a different day. But so I don't have like a solid, you know, aggressive appetite. Like I've got to eat at a certain time. Like if, Unless I like starve, I will, okay, let's eat something. Or with the kids, sometimes you just have to eat with them. <laughs> I get one it's not my priority, it's just, oh, it's, nice. it's just more of a talk. <laughs> on the same boat today, Ms. Ash. Was that? I to drink water today and then. You did? Oh, yeah. wow. It's good. <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Hey, Ash, Mr. Ash? Yes, talk to me. Yes, uh, if you love fish, uh, you got to try Cameroonian fish. I never tried Cameroonian fish. What, oh like, where goodness. do you plant it? On the trees or <laughs> the, the desert? Well, it, it's got to do with the spices, okay? A lot of people mm. travel to Cameroon to bring those spices mm. here to Houston, Texas. Uh, I promise you, if you try Cameroonian fish, you will remember mm. our conversation today. Yeah, you know what? I just discovered Cameroonian coffee. Have you have you tried it? Absolutely, it's one of People, the best in the world. Yeah, it's under promoted in a way. Yeah, under promoted. But Starbucks start buying some coffee to Cam in Cameroon actually. Yeah, I just uh, find a good source. So, and Papua New Guinea. I'm I'm chasing my founders. What do they have to offer? So. Yeah. I I've never tried of... fish from, yeah. Bonjour, Ash. I thought of you yesterday because I eat a creme brulee in a restaurant. Oh, yeah. So the creme brulee is still waiting for you here. <laughs> I, I will do one with you, yes. That's also my wife's department. And we can with, go with fishing berries. in Monaco. In Monaco or in Villefranche, we can go fishing because we have some uh, of the best uh, fish also yeah. here. There's a volcano, by the way, uh, not in uh, France, but uh, I know in Robert Spain. and Manuel in, in the Canary Islands, right? Yeah. It's not. Uh, not but good. I, I hope they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Ash. Hi. Hi, it's Diane from. I'm near Vancouver, British Columbia. Wow. Hi. How are uh, you? Pacific time, right? Yes, that's why it's Hello, not Vancouver. so late. And sorry, I got on. I got on late because I had to spend a little time with my hubby this evening. You know, you gotta you gotta take time for your your partners. But why, um, why are you saying it like you're cheating? Like no, it's <laughs> because, the other way. Because, well, I was even telling him tonight. No, saying, you're doing you know, the all right these thing, webinars Diane. are. All these webinars are at our dinner time and visiting time, so sometimes I got to put them off. But I have two things for you. Absolutely. One is the dinner suggestion is a raclette. You need to ask Karina about that. They're fabulous. It's something that you takes a couple hours. You cook yourself at your dinner table and lots of vegetables and whatever you like. But anyway, that's 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 uh, 
a topic that I know you love. But a question that I've asked and had several different answers to, and I think it's going to be important to so many people. So what it is, is I, I have purchased several positions for family and friends and people that I love that I know just would kind of say no thank you. So I've, I've purchased them for them. They're adults. So I want to leave them in their name and pay the uh, activation fee once we launch. Can I do that without putting it in my name before telling them about it? Yeah, because I, I, I'd like the to... name doesn't matter. You can put any name, yeah. You can actually so, modify the name by yourself. I know I can right now, but once we go into O Founders and once we do the K, like I, I when do we KYC. have to do the KYC? KYC is not an unpassive thing. On, unless we are uh, like you know dealing with the uh, uh u.s market okay? okay possibly the canadian uh it's it's a merchant thing so the bank itself or the 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 money processor when you take mm -hmm. the money out of the o wallet it's that's when it becomes uh your responsibility to uh complete the the paperwork Okay, so it can stay in their name until there's a little bit of money in their account and I can gift it to them at that time. But Diane, and they can uh, do, keep in yeah. mind, the O wallet will give you a lot of options, meaning you can funnel all the funds in one and have it, but obviously that would uh, affect the taxes for that account. So let's say you have seven accounts and you want to funnel them to withdraw, like UKYC one account, one way or form of withdraw, you can do that. So right. O-Wallet would give you the ability to move the money internally and safely, securely, and of course, you know, no fees whatsoever. But I don't want to touch their money in their accounts. So I want to activate their accounts and let it build up Leave just it. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then gift it to them. Yeah. Can I keep one it of the in their things, names? Yeah, one of the yeah. things I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, going to dive too much into it but now but there is a possibility that uh we're not going to let, let money sit for a long time like you know uh, uh, like there would be a threshold okay i actually mm -hmm. just got the idea recently and the reason is for security or uh you know integrity if you wish okay sure. so for example let's play with the amounts like you know canadian dollars if you wish um so let's say up until $1,000 uh, Canadian, uh, no problem. It can sit there, but anything above that will will have to like send you either a reminder or we push it to the form of withdraw, uh, whether it's going to be weekly or we, we have to flush it. We just cannot accumulate money there and uh, and the way i thought about that actually thanks to Mari digarmo we were talking about a case of just you know somebody passed and they have no connection whatsoever so we were discussing the technicality of it so we're going to monitor you know if there's like an account no login or uh, uh the the money sitting there so we don't want just to have a dead money like dead account therefore dead money uh, mm -hmm. and, and that brings a, a, a good uh, point with Unpassive. I think we're going to have to have like a secondary contact for emergency or something or if so, uh, something sudden happened to the owner, uh, account holder, you know, who do we contact? Yeah, your emergency contact. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It could be a founder. It could be, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Peter invited me. Um, I'm good. They, he can take over my account. Okay. Will it be Will it be possible, Ash, to, uh, from the O wallet to uh, transfer the funds on a ledger? To transfer it where, Terry? On a ledger, you know the the keys that you you can uh, save the cryptocurrencies in it. Yes, absolutely. So uh, crypto is definitely an option. So you could transfer. Uh, I think it will be a global option uh, everywhere. Okay, so you can, uh, you know, I think at least the main coins will be there, but uh, 
but at least you can take it to your whether exchange or wallet and convert it there if you want it in a specific uh, coin. Mm -hmm. But there will be options. It's not going to be only Bitcoin, obviously. Yeah. The ones we use, they have a thousand of them. So, but, yeah, yeah. but you will take the day's uh, uh, rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Talk to me. Um, yeah, just talking about that secondary yeah, contact there. Mm. Would that be available like? When, like, say, a founder sets up an account, the secondary contact can be placed in the profile. Yeah, it's that, Cause that the reason, is something. Yeah, because the reason why I was asking, because I, I thought of that a while ago, because I have one person in my downline I haven't been able to reach since June 1st. I don't even know mm. where that person is. Yeah, so, it yeah. will happen. I mean, uh, people probably change contact i hope they're not dead okay so that's not well, always that's what i was wondering like because i i've called this person i get phone number and, and yeah i just can't I can't get a hold of them exactly the, they you know change their thoughts or whatever so one of the options would be a secondary uh contact or like uh, diane said uh emergency contact that is a possibility so we're at the stage where we're seeing the options, but also why not liquidating that into Obless and, you know, so it, it's not gonna die. The bottom line on passive is, uh, is committed to not have like money there and just like useless. So we will make a use of it, okay, where we liquidate it to a foundation or to, uh, maybe you know we'll give an option to the founders is if something happened to me you know they get a family member to take over or a relative or a founder uh, another uh, sponsor it doesn't have to be a founder at the time later in the future uh, and um, uh, one one option could be and this is a charity of my uh, choice okay uh, the hospital where key Wendell works, okay, where uh, we could say, you know, all my profits uh, go to that hospital. Which means we need a lot of uh, human support, like real life support to take care of that in multiple regions. And that is uh, already under work. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How you doing? Good, sir. Thank you very much. Good evening, Good everyone, you. sir. Thank you. Uh, Madi, my heart good to you and your family. Please, we will put you in prayers. It's a, uh, just to follow up to that. So question, is that a prayer or a cash, Engineer Mike? Um, it's a prayer for, for okay. Madi. I meet him everywhere, so we know ourselves. Indeed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you, say, Ash, you follow up about the um, the accounting. I wanted to know if, for instance, you have ten accounts that you have, for instance, the ten accounts under different names. Mm. Is it is it possible to have just a one um, e wallet for all the, to for all the accounts? with different names, is that possible? Or you will need to change all the accounts to your name before you yeah. can channel them to one account, to one o wallet? Excellent question, Mike. Uh, actually, uh, each account has to have an o wallet activation, but it doesn't mean anything. We're not checking your identity or the o wallet, simply a tank where we hold your funds. But internally, you could uh, transfer in between uh, and maneuver the funds between your own wallets without having to go out. No fees, no time, no with, no approval, nothing. Just you. Obviously, you will get a code. It's extremely secure. You will get an OTP. It's a little bit uh, inconvenience if you wish. There are a couple of steps, but for security reasons. Okay, sir. Yeah, but Thank uh, you but you you have to have a wallet in each account so it okay. can communicate with the next with the, or the next or okay so because everything just tied up in the they talk to yeah. themselves api yeah thank you very yeah. much sir yeah you don't want money to be sitting on the floor where are we going to hold it so <laughs> we have to we have to take all the money to png that's my next country man i'm i'm a really? PNG citizen yeah 
what happened to the road in Africa? No, we have the road. It does. Okay. We have the road. Then we have. There is somebody we're talking to in PNG. She has a, a an awesome so, pro pro track as well. Why don't we? So I was thinking about that uh, project anyway. Um, yes, sir. Across Africa. Uh, yes. So have you thought about a different uh, type of technology right now? Like you know, so uh, like train. Okay, would it be more accessible? Okay. Um, does it have to be the old fashioned way? Okay, we have we have people don't uh, drive that long, yeah. Yeah. We have another way we're taking like, you know, in Africa all the routes that they have ever existed, they leave out all the islands. Mm. So we we're, we're thinking of getting to a ferry. Yes. And trains and all that. So okay. all that is in my costing, sir. I'm working on that. Indeed. Remember, we're with you, but like uh, Peter said, we're, we're going to make sure that uh, Apple will blossom. So it gives us the ability to discuss all those beautiful ideas. That is perfect, sir. And we wait for that perfect time. When the time is right, the engineers will tell us it's right. And you will I want know. to put engineers of on passive two in creative ideas and projects like uh, further beyond the typical, you know, ecosystem that you know yes, uh, but also we're going to be creative i mean we can we can invent new stuff why not yeah, we have right ideas there. we have a lot of ideas a lot so we have so many car engineers so many of them we are ready to work with you sir that's why we are in on passive it's a movement now that has a lot of stuff and we are ready and willing to to work with you at any time that you want thank you sir can you imagine top 1000 engineer in every african country yeah, one thousand engineer put them in one project. What can't you make? A whole lot of stuff. You make everything, say Ash. Exactly. So we can That's make seem like uh, uh, Doctor Bill. They are doing the doctor stuff. We can do stuff for engineers too. And that is we have possible. To talk we talk about food. We have to talk yeah. about money. Yeah. That's how they will come. Yes, sir. Mari de Garmo. <laughs> Thank you. you say something, you're waving. Yes, sir. Are you asking for help? No, I'm thinking by the way, uh, key window. Oh, okay, okay. If you need help, blink. Thank you, sir, you Ash. Thank you very much. Of course, Mike. Good talking to you again. Thank you, Mr. Thank Ash. You, Ash, would you like to um, go in order of who's raising their hand? Ash, would that be better? People are just kind of I... randomly talking. Sorry, Glenn. Um, Julie has know. to say something. Go ahead. Yeah, I yes, don't know Mr. Ahead. Ash's time. It's pretty late on his side. Um, I think we, as, as much as we love for him to be here with us, but um, there is a lot of hands that are raised right now, and I, I, I honestly don't want to keep him too long. Um, so it's really up to you, Mr. Ash. Let us know, and and we'll, we'll we'll go from there, but I honestly don't want to keep you too, too long. No problem, Julie. I appreciate that. Thank you. In fact, I do have work because we have uh, a vaccine drive right now in, uh, uh, in Hyderabad and I have other issues with them and other locations. So thank you for being mindful of my time. I think Salvador, we took care of you, right? Right? Is that good? You're muted. But, uh, you know, we have to respect, uh, uh, an aerial from uh, Australia. So just mm -hmm. because of the time, did you raise your hand? So if, uh, if sure, one sure. or two, I can take care of them. Nobody should raise their hand for me. Uh, perhaps, I don't know if you're staying here. Uh, I'll take care of them to be fair. And then uh, yeah. we will leave. Three hands, that's it. No more hands. Okay. Can, can Sherry Green here say hello really quick? Sherry. Is Hi, here. Sherry. Hi, Mr. Ash, how are you? I am fantastic. Good, good. I've been sitting back. I just wanted to come and say hello and, and to really thank you from the bottom of my heart for fulfilling, giving me a, a way to fulfill my dreams of wanting to help humanity. So thank you very much. Thank you. And what's the secret about Orange County? Like, do, you, do they have a, like a checkpoint before you enter the county? Got to be well, beautiful or you're out? I'm actually... <laughs> So are ugly allowed or no? 
I'm actually so. from Canada. She, she's I'm, from, I'm Canadian. But I, I mean, they don't allow like any average, like they, they're just <laughs> hand selected people. Wow. Oh, you're making me blush. We're in trouble. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just, um, I just, yeah. Where just, from Canada are you? Yeah, I'm, well, okay, so I, I'm, I actually was born in Newfoundland, which is, do you know where it is? It's on the East Coast. It's in the middle of the Atlantic. And then I know. I moved, yeah, it's like one yeah. hour and a half uh, yeah. ahead of Eastern. Yeah. They have, they actually have. Um, Best lobster. Yeah. And they, all, they have a, a thing they call um, kissing the cod. So when you go to Newfoundland, mm. um, it's reached in and you kiss a cod. And it's kind of, wow. a weird, I know it's a weird thing, but wow. uh, if you want to talk about uh, seafood and fish. I but, uh, never heard of the, uh, have an affair with a cod, yeah. You have yeah. seen what a well, cod looks great. like? That's about right? the ugliest fish in the world. They are, they are, aren't mm. they? And the screech <laughs> is actually a, a Jamaican, a Jamaican rum. So you kiss the cod and you and you drink. I've never done it actually, but yeah, so, yeah. So, but I've lived, I lived in um, Alberta for about thirty-eight years, and then just moved to British Columbia a couple of okay. years ago. And, oh wow! Yeah, and so All I'm just way. here visiting some friends in California for, I don't know. Few months. So, did you drive or? I flew. You, you, okay. I flew yeah, it's a long drive. Yeah, yeah I flew. And but then it's a beautiful drive. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right and I drove up from Santa Barbara today. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. A, That's yeah. a hot spot. Yeah, Santa Barbara's great. It's really nice. It's like, I'm going to give you a specific name, Julie, uh, over the next uh, few days and, and check it out. And maybe it will be uh, a spot, okay, in awesome. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara's really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That'd be great. I mean, great. it just, we don't have to go to a specific place, but why not, right? Okay, it's our choice. Uh, Perfect. I just moved so, my daughter to Santa Barbara. That's, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I know. Great. It's got a great vibe. By the water. So exactly. So when you pick her up, I'll, I'll let you check one place. It's probably 30 minutes north of, of the college. Awesome. Yes. It's on, on the water, on the ocean, yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. McFarray. Absolutely. I appreciate you more than uh, words can say. So thank you. Indeed. Bless you and your, and your family. My so and, and all right. not, all, not all Canada is cold, by the way. There's warm parts of Canada. We just get cold in the winters and, and that. So well, it's great. Yeah, Canada. well, British Columbia is green. I like that about it. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. I love it, green. These, I, I feel very blessed to live in British Columbia. Sure. So, cool people hey, thanks for taking the time yeah indeed all right yeah. so we we have two or three hands Julie. back to you lynn back to you lynn two minutes each go salvador all righty so go ahead salvador unmute yourself all right i uh, i i want to show my gratitude to mr ash mofari uh, i was born in cameroon um today i'm a u.s citizen and sometimes when I discuss with the family back home, they tell us not to give up the dream, the American dream. They remind us that we are on top of a tree and we have access to so many fruits. They just need a few of those fruits to drop off uh, that tree so they can enjoy it. So this opportunity is definitely a dream coming true for me, but for thousands behind me who are going to take advantage of uh, the prosperity that will come out of it. And I'm so grateful for the high co consciousness of Mr. Mufera, who has already touched millions and millions of people around the world. I know if he goes to Africa one of those days, he's going to be welcomed more than a president because millions of lives will be touched because of his high consciousness. And uh, beside the fish that I'd offer from Cameroon, there's so many other things to see the coffee. Uh, we just want him to know that Africa loves him and we can't wait to present him as a family member back home when he decides to uh, uh, go visit with us. Thanks again, Mr. Ash Mufair for all Thank that. You by the way, Congratulations on your citizenship. Yeah, indeed. Yes. I was actually in Orlando a few months ago, but I understand you're a very busy guy. I try to reach out and uh, I understand you you are not available, but uh, I was really glad to see the office and all that. Thanks again for everything you do for us. Absolutely. It looks like a thing of all the wealthy people, because if you look at, uh, 
I'm just messing with you. If you look at Jeff Bezos or uh, what's the other guy, Bill Gates, they have marriage issues, so obviously, <laughs> so they cannot satisfy anybody. <laughs> I don't know if you get the point, but uh, a lot of unhappy people, if I cannot make my wife happy in a way to be available, so obviously a lot of unhappy uh, friends. By the way, Thank Ash, you. you will meet uh, it's, Salvador. It's a joke. In, we, you'll meet Salvador in Michigan when you come here. Oh, is he there? He's, okay. He's in Michigan. Wow. We've, we've talked before. Okay, are you connected? Uh, we're not connected in the same team, but we talked before. Well, make sure you stay in touch with Peter because or Chris because they, they're on the leadership council, Salvador, and then we will be there. All right. Okay, thank you, Shinu. Thank you for sharing. Next, we have Narelle from Australia. Please unmute. Good afternoon, Narelle Walkon from Mackay, Queensland, Australia. Hello, Ash. It's so lovely hello, hello. to see you. I love speaking with you, love listening to you, love listening to everyone on every webinar that I can try and get on with the time differences. I want to say you're welcome over here, but I don't think that Australia is letting anyone in here at the moment, uh, unless you're a footballer or a movie star. It seems to be um, some challenges over here, but we won't go into that right now. But I'd love for you to try Crocodile. I'd love for you to try kangaroo. You know, I'd love to take you out deep sea fishing. There's so much beauty here in Australia. It's such a big island. It's so big. Um, in, in a lot of words, I suppose, we're a very rich country. Um, and Indeed. the government tends to pop up a lot of Australians. Um, and that's why it's a little bit difficult over here, because we find that most people go, she'll be right, mate. You know, it's very laid back. Mm. Um, she'll be right because the government keeps propping everybody up but we're trying to get to those people and say hey listen you know there's something more exciting out there do you have a plan b because it's not always going to be that way you know things change and they can change very suddenly as you know and um, we really love the support of many Chris Johnson who you know opened up and uh, really brought forward the fact that Australia and New Zealand were really struggling over here as far as um, um, getting people to hear about on passive. We're excited. Please don't think that we're not, <laughs> but we are very excited in Australia. Um, we do love each and every one of the uh, leadership council, the founders. We have certainly created a beautiful community um, where we don't feel so far away anymore. You know, so different times of the day, night, whatever it is, you know, so thank you very much for bringing your heart and sharing that because that has certainly transpired into many, if not all founders. And also um, to those who, who are on Leadership Council, amazing work. Marty, we're praying constantly for your family, uh, for those grandchildren of yours. My granddaughter turned, my one and only grandchild turned eight yesterday. Uh, she flew in this morning. We were able to uh, pick her up for her to spend a week here and um, really enjoying that and just going to have some fun. So thank you for allowing me to speak. I really appreciate it. And thank it you. Beautiful Mr. listening I. to you. Thank you. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing. Now let's turn it back to Julie. She can have the floor for a bit. Are you there, Julie? Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Lynn. Um, I just like to, first of all, thank you, Mr. Ash, for taking some time and being here with us. Truly appreciate you. And uh, like I said, thank you. It's not enough. Um, no, thank you, time. Julie. I know it's getting late there for everybody. But look, uh, did you see what the number, Julie, is? Yes. OK, wow. so invite me again, OK? Absolutely. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Because because uh, Chris mm -hmm. Johnson and uh, I think Red Redfern uh, left, and they said I might be also revealing more information before at the beginning of. Uh, we, we're five days away from October, actually. It's already the twenty fifth here, and uh, uh, the truth is, I actually wanted to say something now, and I had Chris. Robin in my mind, 
I got the Australian accent on my mind. I got Julie on my mind or Celestine at least, okay? And a few of the talented people I got, uh, you know, the singers, uh, Renata, you know, our singer. We got so many voices. I'm trying to say something. Remember I told you I took over uh, all founders? Yes. When I do things, I do them, okay? And the creativity is already mounting. And uh, one of the things that uh, I want to do, because just as a thank you for the founders, every time we log into the dashboard, like we're making it like it's almost going to pop from the screen and hug you and, you know, uh, almost uh, tap on you and, and cuddle with you. Literally, like there's animation and there's some creative thoughts that you've never seen before. It's already done, that's done. But when you get to the dashboard, uh, every time you log in, we want to play sound, like a greeting by the sound and the voice of our beloved founders. So it could be, we are so in it doing it, somebody's voice, it could be, hey, 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 uh, it could be welcome, okay, it could be uh, any of the talented voices and aloha from Corinne or uh, anybody, you know, in any accent, in any language, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we will take turn, we can change it daily, weekly, but that's another uh, tribute, if you wish, and customization level that I want to do. So start thinking of those uh, who would like to put, it's a couple of seconds anyway, uh, maybe we gather them like uh, MP3 uh, form format. So I need a few at least to begin with and we're gonna test what's uh, possible. So you're thinking, okay, we'll talk about that in October. No, 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 we need it now because we're gonna, it's already implemented. We just need the clip, okay? So I can you know, be one of them, but I don't wanna be there all the time, uh, it, it, it's rather like diversity of the different uh, ethnicities, if you wish, and genders. So that was my uh, tiny uh, note for now. Julie, thank you so much. I know some of you have a long drive now, but uh, it was uh, really fun talking to you. Everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Ash. Anyone would like to do what, what Mr. Ash just said, feel free to send me that email, that recording. You can get uh, the, my email on the Leadership Council and I'll collect them and I'll forward to Mr. Ash. So what happened is, let me confirm cool. with you probably by, to, by Monday, okay? I'll confirm with you if, uh, if a, a, a voice message on WhatsApp. So it's not like, hello, my name is, you know, no, 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 just like, uh, just what I want is the audio and we'll be able to download it. So literally record that. Uh, we're in it to in it. I'm passive or welcome to all, all founders, if you wish, uh, in the beginning, then it will be on passive. Um, we're so in it to in it. Any of the phrases you wish to say, but that will play every login we do. That. It just, again, that to lift up the spirit, the motivation to remind ourselves we are on track uh, on track for prosperity and uh, to to climb to the top. Is okay. Ash how about Robin's voice? That's definitely one of the options. I'm sure a lot of people will Thank march you. for that. Yes, yes, sir. indeed. Is that because she's in Canada as well? No, she has the best voice I've ever heard. She is Robin. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Better than mine? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, so you wanted a welcome. It's a welcome when people want it. Yes, in. yes. Okay. You know, welcome to your founders. We're in it to win it. So in it to win it. Some, like a couple of seconds. You know, we don't want to. In any language? Absolutely, yeah. So I can do it in French with the French. Yes, uh, do it, yeah. Cocorico. And makes it interesting, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, how do you say a cook, uh, you know? When he... <laughs> it's a rooster oh, crow. Oh, rooster. It's yeah. Rooster. Coco, yeah. Coco Rico. Oh, Thank my you, Mr. Goodness. Ash. I think it's late enough. I'd like to, um, to 
actually call this. Uh, let's let's wrap this up tonight, everyone. I appreciate Mr. Ash tremendously for his time being here. All the leadership council, especially my brother from another mother, Marty DeGamo, all the leadership councils and all the beautiful people here in our Zoom and also all of our friends here in the room, especially thank you, Terry, your, your husband, Michael, and Sherry Dursaway and all the friends that are driving here just to be in this room with us. Uh, we do hope that you travel home safely. And everyone on the screen, hope you have a great evening. If you start your day today, uh, please enjoy your day and always have an awesome on passive day. Good night, everyone from Orange County, Thank California. you, Ash. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Ash. Mari, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank